It's raining outside, people are gonna come in from all around to drink upon our mead. And I like that. Hey guys, my name is Oranges, and welcome to Tavern Tycoon. Today we're gonna be running our own tavern in medieval times, causing people to get drunk and spend their gold, and it's gonna be the greatest thing in the history of the world. And let's put in our nickname. Here we go. Very, I... <laughs> I like how the difficulty is based on what these people are. So, playing as the woman is tough. Play, playing as the little dude, that's normal. Tycoon's the guy who looks weird and in the corner being a creep. Alright! Get the tavern up and running by placing a bar, a guest room, and a kitchen. Then place tables, a reception desk, hire maidens, and a clerk. It would be best to build a restroom and a staff room as well. Your objective is to get 500 reputation and to keep your finances below 2,000 gold. Remember that you will be fired if the tavern goes under. Good luck. What's this? To begin with, let's build your bar first. So the building, the furniture. Bar. Boom. Then we just purchase it like that and we can put it wherever the deuce we want. That would probably be our storage thing. So, I think the best place for a bar... How do I rotate? No, 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 no. Boo urns. I don't know how to rotate. Oh, it's starting to get dirty already and nobody even here. Let's build a kitchen. Place a door on one of the walls. So the entrance to the kitchen, I think maybe the best bet's back there. Right in the middle so you can have... What's this? Oh! This must be our stockpile. Okay. Proceed. Well done. That's how you build rooms. This is where the little story succession ends. So figure out the rest of the stuff from here. Oh. By the way, I built a couple tables and hired maids to serve food. Alright. Uh, how do I move shit, though? I ch also choose a name for the tavern by clicking on the long signboard right there. Good luck. Full tavern name. <gasps> I don't know what to put. I, <laughs> I don't know what to put here. Ye... Old Tavern of Love. Our tavern, ye old tavern of love, is going to be awesome. Furniture, let's get some tables. So they said bench, don't use benches. Let's get some uh, tables up in this bitch. I think four tables should be sufficient. And we'll put them. Right along this wall. Hell! Now! Oh, no, I don't want to manage. That's BS. That's bullshit. Let's get some maidens. Do you have anybody else from here? Ooh. Hello! Now! Let's get some more furniture. Is there a receptionist table? <gasps> performing stage. We can't have a bar without a performance stage. So we got our reception desk. That's the first thing that they see when they walk in. Let's get some bathrooms, I think. In here is going to be our stage later on. Our bathrooms are going to go something like that. With a door. Let's get four stalls up in here. Okay. That'll do for our bathroom. Now! Oh my gosh, this game's cool. It's reminding me a little bit of like Sim Hospital and stuff and I like that. I like that a lot. We do need a staff room, but the staff room's not going to be that big. Because why would it? We don't need it to be that big. I got four males. Are you ready to get my people drunk? <laughs> Hello there! In case you're not aware, I'm your local lord. I'm writing this dear letter to let you know that I'm keeping my eyes on your newly established drinking place. The thing is, my people deserve a good cup of mead after a day's labor. This is where you and your tavern fits in. It's raining outside, people are gonna come in from all around to drink upon our mead. And I like that. Let's add some more furniture, let's- No, we need some more- another bar? Yeah, we need another bar. Let's get that performance stage up and- up and running. Performance stage right outside the bathrooms. Or... Ooh, somebody's taking us two steamers. That's gross. Now, is there a fast forward? Probably not. Eh, whatever. My hoffy, my, uh, it's hot. I think now is a good time to actually get those guest rooms up and running. Just like that. 
Instead, what we'll do is we'll actually do one at a time. Damn. Like that. So to rotate, you right click. That's what makes everything spin. Oh, I love it. Now, let's add another guest room. We got our doorway. Right smack dab in the middle. Bed. Carpet. And a dresser. A spa. We need a bigger venue. All this wasted space right here. All that wasted space. Let's add another guest room then. I think we're pretty solid for that stuff. I want to be able to actually expand this entire tavern. I realize that all this place needs to be cleaned up. Let's grab a fire. A fireplace. Yeah. And we'll put that right by the bar. People can get drunk, wasted, have a good time. Put that right by the door to the bathroom. Good idea, me. Now everybody can feel happy. First thing you see when you come in, a little pot of plants. Heck yes. I think our tavern is getting mighty fine. Regular inspection. Uh, since I'm busy, I decided to take a short break and visit your tavern. Not that this isn't work. Keep that mead cold for me. Let me know one of the best. Come on. More reservations for 10 people. What? Let's go. Oh, you come on. You can all come on the same day. Let's go. 10 people. We need some more tables then, if that's going to be the deal. Let's add four more tables. But this time, really, really set them up, make them nice, nice and neat. Like a so. We have more mail. Oh. Oh, I just deleted a group reservation. My bad. Sorry. This tavern is filling up crazy. Look, let's see if my money actually goes up. We're renting out rooms. People are like, they're staying the night in the tavern of love. And it's being a good time. That is awesome. This is the Maiden's Brew House. Auto save. Look at how many people we have. We need a new bar. We're gonna need a new bar. Get myself a new bartender. Plop his ass down. I can't spin. How's this guy leaving? How is he? Leaving the tavern. He is quite happy. Ah, his bladder. That's fine. Tiredness and his happiness is kind of middle. He's like, eh. But that's what happens when you drink. It's not necessarily just all happy and fun games. Right? Total visitors, uh, income is five, expenditures that, monthly st okay. We need, we're in a deficit right now. We are spending more money than we're making. So how do we market ourselves? Nine visitors this month, that's it? What's this guy? <gasps> Lord Peter's coming to visit us! <gasps> oh my god, Lord Peter! Everybody make him happy. He's, he's in an, he's in a mood. He's nodding. He's like, yep, yep, yep. Pretty clean. Interior and eco-friendliness. Uh-oh. Furniture. We need some potted plants. Lord Peter, after inspecting your tavern, I have to admit that you really live up to your name. The Tavern of Love. Please keep up your good work. You've been awarded 1,500 gold and 20 additional reputation. We're spending a lot more than we're making. Sorry, guys, but drinks have to go up. Everything is now gluten-free, so it's triple the price. Food is now $50 a damn plate. No, it's not. Guest rooms? Heck, that is going up to 120 Because here at the Tavern of Love, it's just how it goes. I am pleased to offer you a new management position. You can accept it now or at a later stage. This will offer your... This offer will stay in your mailbox. I hope to hear from you soon. I'll take it. Oh, is that just take us to an absolutely new mar uh, tavern? Excellent work on your previous job. This part of town has travelers coming and going all the time, so expect some diversity. Build a gymnasium for warriors, arcane study for wizards to keep them happy and occupied. Keep your eye out for local kids trying to get a sip of that mead, or Lord Peter won't take our boys getting caught drinking alcohol in your tavern kindly. Your objective is to get 600 rep, reach 45 tavern value, 45,000 tavern value, to keep your finances above 5,000 gold. Remember, that you will be fired if the tavern goes under. Okay. So, what the hell are these? 
All right, guys, that is Tavern Tycoon, and that game is wicked. If you guys liked it, click that like button. That will tell me if you guys want to see more. I really do suggest you guys check it out on Steam. It's it's really fun. It's, it's reminiscent of Theme Hospital, where you had to make your own hospital and stuff. This is just instead of taking care of sick people, you're taking care of drunk people who probably end up getting sick. <laughs> if you want to see more content from me, click that subscribe. Come hang out with me a couple times a week. It'll be fun. Anyways, guys, my name is Oranges. See you later. Subscribe and like this video. Oh, you guys totally subscribe. You're gonna see me playing games. You're gonna see me doing things. Oh, you guys totally subscribe.